G'day folks, this is the uh, new improved uh, shunter's pole to go with um, my rotating magnetic couplings. And um, I've, I've had a few versions where I've um, been working on this and um, I've finally got to this point where I think I've probably nailed it this time. Anyway, it uh, seems to pass all the tests that I've put on it. Now this, this is a piece of um, ply here. Uh, it's um, 120 millimeters long and it's 25 millimeters wide, and we've got a hole drilled, a seven millimeter hole drilled in here, uh, simply for hanging it up instead of having some sort of fancy hanger or whatever. I have some little hooks near the um, control panels, and you can, it'll just simply go over the hook. Uh, this end of it here, at the very top here, you'll notice that there's a little metal piece in the here. That's a panel pin actually and uh, that's pushed in flush with the edge of the uh, ply and the reason for that is to help me set up a shunting loco for loose shunting. I can lift the coupling up and hold it up near the uh, top of the buffer beam and uh, I can loose shunt. So this little jinty is uh, set up for uh, loose shunting and um, I've got uh, a little strip of uh, staple above the buffer beam so when I raise the coupling up it will try and connect to that bit of staple I think you can just about see it there so I'll show you how the um, shunters pole works on this particular coupling so I simply hold my shunters pole upside down just bring it over near the coupling it's connected to it and I just lift it up it's as simple as that now to get it back down again, I just use the other end of the uh, shunter's pole which has got this white sort of wedge on it and just simply pull it down again. It's that easy. This window wedge is secured here with a 3mm bolt through it um, securing it to the uh, plywood. However, this uh, wedge is, is very thin and uh, bends quite easily so I've put a couple of little screws down here just to secure it and add a bit more rigidity to this end of it. Uh, otherwise it's, it's a bit too bendy really. Now if we turn it over you'll notice that we've got this uh, wedge set up here on the, on the back of it. And these wedges come from um, an artist's canvas. They're usually supplied with a canvas that's stretched over a timber frame. And I think the purpose uh, for them is to be used when the uh, canvas is put, being put into a proper picture frame. I think it might help um, wedge the uh, the canvas into the frame somehow. Not exactly sure on that, but my wife does a lot of painting and she has quite a few canvases and she gets these little wedges and she never uses them, so she said um, I can have them if I can find a use for them. Um, so um, it's a bit rough, the timber, when, when it comes in the first stage of the wedge so um, what I've done is I've, I've actually cut a piece off the end here and I've sanded all this and then I've sanded it with wet and dry paper so it's very very smooth and I need to have it very smooth because it interacts um, with uh, wagons and so on so this is the part that actually makes the difference and does the work so what we should show you now is how this um, shunter's pole actually works on wagons. Now this is a bit difficult for me at the moment because the camera is in the way of where I need to be. So I can't actually see what I'm doing here but the shunter's pole goes down, the white bits go down in between the buffers and the wedge uh, goes against the wagon that, w that needs to be uncoupled. So the one that's being separated from the rest of the train. So you can see that it's, uh, it's quite loose there at the moment. So all we do is we simply move um, our pressure against, by holding the top of the uh, shunter's pole, pressure against the brake fan there, um, and just simply do that. So it, it's very light pressure to do this. And you'll notice that the couplings have dropped, so therefore uh, they're not magnetically attracted at the moment. So... Uh, it's quite effective. Uh, now we've got just a standard wagon and 
it's the same thing. It, uh, it just makes contact with the, the bottom of the wedge there, but it's enough to separate the wagons or the couplings and away we go. So it's the same again. You'll notice that the wedge is pushing against the tanker here, the top of the tanker, but if you look at the white uh, wedge, the window wedge, the bottom part of the wedge is pushing against the buffer on the brake van. So that's why they separate. You've got this sort of even pressure and I can sort of partly separate the coupling. I can bring it back. So you've got that degree of um, movement in it and you can control it quite easily and it's all about leverage with this thing. The more leverage you have the gentler you can do these things. Now if you've got some flat wagons uh, the wedge is not actually going to use, uh, have any effect uh, on the body because there is no body. You've just got basically a floor. So what you can do in that situation you can see you know there's nothing for the wedge to sort of push against. So we've got our white um, window doobies down in between the buffers so you simply uh, twist the shunter's pole, I'm twisting it clockwise at the moment and gently gently twist it and it will separate the couplings and you can indeed do this on on the other wagons as well if you want to but um, the the wedge is there to to help in the process I think the wedge makes it a bit easier actually now we've got a short train here just uh, three wagons and what we'll do is we'll loose shunt those wagons a little bit further along the uh, siding. So what we need to do is we need to come in with the shunter's pole and uh, disconnect the brake van from the locomotive. So we'll just come in now with the shunter's pole and disconnect the brake van. And then we come back with the shutters pole upside down, set it up on the uh, buffer beam there, as it were, and now we're ready to loose shunt. So we just ease the locomotive up to the wagons, give them a bit of a push, and stop, and then we can pull it back away from them. To uh, collect them again, we come back with the shunter's pole, with the wedge, drop the coupling down, and then we can move it back up and collect the wagons. And we're set to go. Now what you've seen so far folks is all very um, slow and deliberate but in reality this is really quite easy uh, if you want to separate wagons and uh, it's just a matter of I, I guess just getting used to it and it doesn't take much I can tell you to get used to this and uh, it's very effective, it's quite simple, it's quite easy. So that's the way it goes. Simple.